I'm going to show you how to get rid of that bottom border in NativeScript Android text fields coming up in this video. Hey everybody, this is Alex from nativescripting.com. Check out nativescripting.com if you want to learn more about NativeScript and get formal course training on NativeScript. And if you want to learn more about NativeScript and get NativeScript tutorials here, make sure you subscribe and click on the little bell so you never miss anything. When you use a text field in your NativeScript app's markup, on iOS, you don't have a border. It's borderless. You just have a field floating out in space, which could be good, could be bad. But in any way, you have the option to have a border or not have the border. But on Android, you don't. You get a border by default out of the box. Now, this is part of the material design spec, and that's why it's included out of the box in NativeScript. But what if I don't want it? I don't like that border there all the time, and maybe some of you don't either, but it's not easy to get rid of it. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Oh, and by the way, this works with NativeScript Core, NativeScript Angular, and NativeScript View. Let's do this. I've just created a new project. It's a TypeScript project, but of course this applies to Angular and Vue versions as well. This is just our Hello World template. Let's go in here and in mainpage.xml, that's the XML that defines this view right here. I'm gonna go down here and in the stack layout, I'm just gonna add a text field here. Our text field can have a hint. This is like a placeholder in HTML. I'm gonna save this and this should auto update. Okay, so here you go. Here's the Android material design text field. You can see that there's an underline there. And if I enter my name, you can see that that underline is now blue because I'm focused on that field. You need to manually unfocus from that field to leave it. So we can do that by adding another text field right here. Enter age. Now we can jump between these two text fields. Okay, what if you didn't want to have that underline there? Let's say I want to have a text field that's just floating in space, kind of like the iOS text field where there's no extra Chrome to my text field. So I'm going to try to do this with CSS. I'm going to go to app CSS and let's do this. I'm going to target the text field directly. And let's say I want to do border bottom width. I'm going to set that to zero. Since this is the bottom border, I should be able to set this to zero, right? Well, no such luck. That's not going to work. Well, why doesn't that work? This is the bottom border, isn't it? If I set border width to two, then I get a border all the way around, including the bottom border. But if I set the border width to zero, all the other borders go away, but the bottom border is still there. That's pretty annoying. Let's go ahead and set a border color. What if that helps? I'm gonna set the border bottom color to transparent. Maybe it'll make it disappear. Nope, that doesn't work either. Let's try border bottom, just so that we're more specific. Border bottom width, we'll set that to zero. And that doesn't work either. So in order to fix this, we need to set the border bottom width to one and the border bottom color to transparent. If I remove that transparency, the border is back. So both of these need to be set. Border bottom width should be one and border bottom color should be transparent and then you have floating text fields like this. It's a little bit strange and not intuitive to work with it this way, and that's why I wanted to make a video on this, to make you aware of how to get rid of that border. All right, here's a question for you. Do you like having different looking text fields in iOS and Android in NativeScript? Or would you rather have them look the same and consistent by default? Let me know in the comments down below. You can also follow me on Twitter, where I tweet different stuff about NativeScript. And make sure you subscribe to this channel where you'll get tips, tricks, and tutorials about NativeScript. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.